Hello and welcome to my robotics YouTube channel. These are concentric flux magnetic gearboxes and they are part of my pursuit to find the ideal robotic actuator. There are two magnetic poles on the input shaft, 12 magnetic poles on the output housing and seven flux plates. This gives a reduction ratio of seven to one. Only about half of the flux plates are used to transfer the torque between the input shaft and the output housing. How this works. For every turn of the centre input magnets, the output flux plate rotates one magnetic pair. This is similar to a cycloidal gearbox. Most concentric flux magnetic gearboxes use four or more internal poles to reduce the total flux path length but this limits the reduction ratio to about four to one. This new design changes the flux path and reduces the flux path length by half. Reducing the flux path length increases the torque handling ability of the gearbox. There are two two pole magnets offset by 180 degrees. There are 14 outer poles and two sets of eight flux plates offset slightly. The flux path changes from radial to a combination of axial and radial. The flux path of a typical magnetic gearbox travels from the center to the outside, around the circumference and back to the middle. In the new design, the flux path is bottom centre to outside, across one magnet, to top centre, and then back to bottom centre. Scaling up the magnetic gearbox for use in a full-size quadruped, it uses the core of a brushless inrunner. It has eight flux plates and 14 outer magnets. This is a typical gearbox, so the flux path is quite long. When the output is stalled, the gearbox acts like a clutch, protecting the device. I am aiming for about 100 kilograms per centimetre torque out of this gearbox. And this current design only gets about 8 kilograms per centimetre. This is the end of my investigation into magnetic gearboxes. This is my third type of magnetic gearbox. Please check my channel for the other designs.